Okay, so first of all, you're obviously announced re signed back in purple this year. How does it feel to be playing, coming back to the BBL after a couple of seasons off, I guess? Yeah, it's really nice. It's something that I've never actually had my, my own, I guess, individual contract. Um, I just came in as a bit of a replacement player uh, a couple of years ago for a few games and I was a bit sort of out of my depth. So, um, yeah, I, I feel ready. I feel um, prepared and, well, maybe maybe as prepared as I can be. Um, but, yeah, it's nice to, to uh, have signed with the Hurricanes officially and, and re ready to get out there. Um. The WBL is ticketed for the first time league-wide this season. Um, what do you think that means in terms of the growth in the competition? I think that's, yeah, I think that's great for the, the girls' uh, game. Um, you know, uh, hopefully that means where our numbers are increasing each year and, and this year won't be any different. And um, Yeah, I know that, you know, the, the people that have, have been watching for multiple seasons We'll, we'll continue to come and watch and um, hopefully we can continue to grow, grow the girls' game. Um, where are you most looking forward to playing this season? Ooh. Um, oh, I mean, obviously, Blunston's always nice. Uh, I have some good memories here at Blunston. Um, hopefully, I can get some family and friends along um, to come and watch. So, uh, yeah, definitely Blunston, but... Um, Got some fond memories of La Trobe as well, as I've got some good memories there. Um, yeah, that's actually closer to home for me, so hopefully uh, get some more supporters uh, out there, and I'm sure the La Trobe community and, and uh, North and Northwest will, will come out in numbers and hopefully get around the girls and we can get some wins on the board in La Trobe. Um, interesting when you play in La Trobe, uh, you guys are playing the Stars, um, and Sasha's obviously at the Stars now. Um, do you think that's going to be an interesting little rivalry with two girls from the northern region playing up in the north northwest for opposite teams. I th yeah, I think it'll be very interesting. I think the Maloney clan will outweigh my uh, my Mannix Jeeves few, so um, there'll be there might be a few stars jumpers in the in the crowd. Um, hopefully not too many, but uh, yeah. And Sash is a, a competitor, so that'll be an interesting game. And I think there'll be uh, a few hugs and a few. Uh, Bit of banter exchanged. Uh, BBL 12 this year, hopefully the first one for a couple of years, fingers crossed without too much COVID stuff. Um, what are you most looking forward to about it? Yeah, like I said, obviously looking forward to getting out of the bubble and, um, you know, having obviously crowds back last year, but, you know, playing in front of big crowds again this year, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's always an exciting time of the year, Big Bash. Um, really fun for all the players and, and everyone who comes and watches. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. Is there a place you're looking forward to playing most this season? Um, don't know. I think I think every ground in Australia is really, um, really unique, and it's always good to to sort of change around every every few games and and get a few different experiences. But coming to Belrose is always always fun. Um, always good entertainment from the batter, batter's perspective. But yeah, no, nah, not really one favourite. But yeah. Um, is there a matchup you're most looking forward to from a team perspective or from an individual perspective? Obviously, still a bit of bridge to go under the water with recruitment for everyone. Mm. Um, I don't know. I think playing against the Melbourne Stars is always, I don't know, I think they're sort of the Collingwood of the, of the Big Bash, so it's always nice to win over them. But, yeah, they're probably, they're probably the number one on the hit list at the moment. Um, and on a bit of a different note, um, BBL draft is uh, Sunday week. Mm. Um, you, what do you think about the draft? And you've obviously had an intriguing draft experience of your own in the past. Mm. What do you think the players will be feeling in the lead up to that? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, I haven't really got my head around it too much at the moment. Um, there's obviously a lot of players have nominated, which is really good for the comp. Um, but yeah, it's going to be exciting to see who gets picked up and a lot of new names in the Big Bash, which is which is always a good thing. But yeah, it's going to be nervous for those guys who are in it for sure, um, see where they end up. But yeah, I'm sure it'll be good.